Welcome to Barbara's Lifestyle, you guys. I hope you love it. Hey guys, I'm Asia J. Blame Incorporated, the definition of Barbara's Lifestyle Media Entertainment. Today we're going to start my first like webisode or whatever, or like YouTube, with Barbara's Lifestyle. I wanted to name this whole collaboration, Barbara's Lifestyle, to see different barbers and the life they go through and the struggles, anything. Like, barbering is a real, like, adventure and it's a long road. Today we're going to start with myself and along we're going to like meet a lot of female barbers, a lot of fresh barber, men barbers, everybody. Um, the reason I named it Barber's Lifestyle because it is a lifestyle. Barbering is a lifestyle. So I hope you guys watch me grow and watch this webisode YouTube grow and I look forward to some of you barbers to be on it. So check it out. <laughs> Blame Incorporated. A lot of people ask me where I got the word blame from and or what it means. Blame Incorporated means Barber's Lifestyle and Media Entertainment. The reason I named it Blame is because it goes way back to deep, like young times where I always used to blame people for my problems and my mother always told me, all you have to, like, you always blame everybody for your problems. And at the end of the day, you only can blame yourself because of you can make a better life for yourself. You can push yourself. Um, so, I have always stuck with that since I was a little girl. What made me become a barber is... Man, I've been working in the shop for a long time, since I was like 15, but I was like helping my auntie, you know, prep her clients, but it was a point in time where I didn't really know what I wanted to do, and I know I wanted to do hair, but not like women's hair, I have ADD, so I decided to like cut, like I love the entertainment scene, and I just, that I feel like barbering is a part of the whole entertainment scene and I just fit in by doing hair and making men look good so I mean I fell in love like first it really started off as a hustle I can honestly say I fell in love with barbering <laughs> Being a female barber is great. <laughs> no, it's hard. But, I mean, you just gotta work hard. And a lot of men don't want to get their hair cut by a female barber. But a lot of men do. And also, like, ladies, if you're a barber, you just gotta keep it business. Like, a lot of men try to talk to you in the chair, but it doesn't matter. We're all barbers. This is an art. And we just gotta keep going. We gotta keep motivating each other. Um, my work is good, but... I know I can still grow and 10 years from now I'm gonna still be saying I can still grow because you can learn new things every day I love going to the hair shows the barber battles I love it it, it keeps me motivated it keeps me going I had downfalls like not passing my state exam the first time because nervousness but when you go in there like you just got to be confident and even like the road to barbering when you first start off as a student you starving like I don't care what nobody say maybe like people are more like pushy and like get go-getters but like I feel like I'm a wonderful like person go-getter I get money but at the same time like if you love what you're doing you're, you're gonna go through like a path but I just know I gotta keep going and I gotta keep growing and just building Blame Incorporated and building myself is just the great thing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and we're going to end this at Just Watch Me Grow. Barber's Lifestyle and Media Entertainment.